I'm Elise Levine, Sales Director for Shadow Mountain Publishing, and in this video I'll be presenting new titles for Fall 22 and highlight some recent titles as well. These are two Young Readers editions by author Cameron Wright, which have been rewritten and edited so they are suitable for a middle grade audience. Both are based on true stories and both have locations in Southeast Asia. The Orphan Keeper is the story of a boy in India who is kidnapped off the street and sold to an orphanage, eventually being adopted by an unsuspecting American family who don't know his family is still alive. He grows up in America and thrives, and due to a series of incredible coincidences, he gets additional clues to his past, which lead him back to India in search of his birth mother. This edition includes a Dear Young Reader letter from the man whose life the story is based, Taj Roland. The Rent Collector is about a woman who scratches out basic subsistence by finding recyclables and things which could be repaired and sold from a garbage dump where she lives in Cambodia. In the book, it says all her possessions could be held in her two hands. She is taught to read by the woman who is the Rent Collector and begins to realize that the world is so much bigger than the dump. And as the women read together, they begin to understand each other, showing the power of literacy to empower and connect people. This is new in middle grade fantasy series. The Lost Wonderland Diaries is about two kids who find the Lost Diaries of Lewis Carroll in their local library, and that opens a portal back to Wonderland, where all the familiar characters like Humpty Dumpty and Tweedledee and Tweedledum are now monstrous. In this book, book number two, the protagonists must reclaim their mirror images, who have captured their skills of logic and imagination, and they have to stop a war between two powerful queens. Each book is a standalone title, and you don't have to know the original Alice books to understand this homage. There's all kinds of background to explain the universe, but if you've read the Alice books, there's a lot of insider references and humor. Champion's Quest is about a bunch of kids who see a weird curiosity shop in town, and the window display proves far too tempting. So they go in to explore, and that transports them straight into a role-playing game, something like Dungeons and Dragons. The main characters are racially and ethnically diverse and represent a wide range of life experiences. The two boys are foster kids living in a group home, and one struggles with panic attacks. One of the girls is new in town and the target of bullies. Book two, The Questmaster's Trap, comes out in October. These are some recent middle grade empathy building titles. The Legend of the Dream Giants is our first hybrid novel with 120 graphic novel style illustrations. It's the story of Berg, a lonely and misunderstood orphan giant whose mother comes to him in dreams as a white bear, depicted in the illustrations as you see on the screen, to comfort and guide him. This is part graphic novel, part middle grade fantasy, and part empathy building. And one of the main themes in the book is the difference between fitting in and belonging. This is a great read alike for kids who enjoyed the one and only Ivan. Trusting True North takes place during a pandemic and as the adults are so busy dealing with the virus, our protagonist, True, reasons that she needs to deal with all of her problems herself as they unfold right along with the real health crisis. And I want to flag Stella, which will be out in paperback in the fall because it is on many, many state award nomination lists. It's the story of a beagle who works in law enforcement. And when she is out on a routine call, she momentarily gets distracted and loses the scent of an explosive, which detonates, taking the life of her owner. Stella is distraught and thinks, surely, she is a bad dog. And the book is about how she creates a new life of service. This author has a wonderful video where she talks about how Stella is really a proxy for her own life and the many mistakes she made in her youth and how everyone deserves multiple second chances. Here's a look at some other empathy building titles for middle grade. Real is based on the true story of one of the co-authors, Peyton Goddard. It's about a girl with non-speaking autism who wants to go to public school and must overcome the challenges and objections of students and their parents who don't understand autism and want her sent away to a special ed school. And Virtually Me is coming out in February of 23 from the writing team of Mustaches for Maddie and the other titles you see on the screen. The book takes place in a post-pandemic world where kids have the option of going to a virtual reality academy online where they are represented by avatars 
and it follows three students in that school who would each face unique challenges in an in-person school setting. So they kind of get a second chance to be accepted at the virtual reality school. Moving on to historical fiction, The Opera Sisters is based on the real story of the Cook Sisters, who were quiet, unassuming civil servants in England who developed a passion for opera, which takes them to cities in Europe where they learn of the plight of Jews in Nazi Germany from their contacts in the opera world. Determined to help, they risk their lives by smuggling jewelry and valuables out of Germany to finance a daring covert operation to help Jews escape in the closing days before the outbreak of war. Viewed as looking more middle-aged than their youthful 30s, the women are able to pass through SS checkpoints at the border by guards who write them off as eccentric and innocuous characters on the opera scene, which they use to their advantage to divert any suspicion as they exit Germany, dripping in jewels which they did not possess when they entered the country. In the Shadow of a Queen is written by the author of The Paper Daughters of Chinatown and is the story of the progressive strong-willed daughter of Queen Victoria, Princess Louise, who lived under the thumb of her mother's rigid rules. But as she matured, Louise was able to chart her own course in life and became an established sculptor, championed causes for women's rights, and was the first royal since the Tudors to marry outside of royalty, all against the wishes of her mother, who was determined to avoid any hint of scandal. The book explores her life against the backdrop of England as it moves from the strict morality of the Victorian age into the 20th century, as England moves on to changing roles ushered in by new inventions, a new king, and earth-shaking world events. These titles were recently published in 2022. Praying with the Enemy is based on the true story of an American POW whose plane ditches behind enemy lines during the Korean War. After being tortured for wartime information, he lies to his captors to buy some time knowing there was little hope of making it out alive from his ordeal. A North Korean soldier who guards him is secretly a Christian in a communist country which kills or imprisons any religious group they perceive as a threat to their power. The American finds an unlikely ally in his fellow Christian, and although they speak different languages, they manage to plot a daring escape for both of them to freedom. A Brilliant Night of Stars and Ice is based on the true story of the Carpathia, one of two ships who received an urgent distress call after midnight on April 15, 1912 from RMS Titanic and was the only ship who answered the call. It's told in alternating chapters from the perspective of the captain of the Carpathia and a young female passenger on Titanic. This is a thrilling and awe-inspiring story which paints a portrait of fear and despair from the Titanic survivors waiting in the freezing waters, uncertain if any rescue would come and a heroic and compassionate leader, his methodical preparations for rescue, and his determination to act honorably and selflessly to save lives and care for the survivors. Of these recent titles, I wanted to highlight one which is very timely right now. The Slow March of Light is a 1961 Cold War drama about an American soldier turned spy undercover in East Germany, and a West German woman who joins a spy network to help smuggle East Germans to democratic West Germany and freedom. This author, Heather B. Moore, is particularly adroit in conveying the horrible, oppressive East German police state and the emotions of citizens willing to risk their lives and take desperate action for themselves and others for a chance at freedom in the West. We have a new Fall 22 cookbook by Tara Teaspoon Bench, and it's got a very relatable premise. If it's been a while since you've cooked for a get-together, this collection, Delicious Gatherings, will help ease you back into hosting and includes everything from intimate brunches to elaborate buffets to sit-down dinners. Tara is a former food stylist and a former food editor at Ladies Home Journal, so the recipes use common ingredients, and as you can see from the photos, they are gorgeous to look at. Scrumptious is from the blogger known as The Girl Who Ate Everything. She has a big social media following, and this book is really about how you need a large cooking repertoire. Everything from easy weeknight meals to healthy snacks for kids and the big rollout for game day. She is also a former food stylist for Betty Crocker and General Mills, so the photos are noteworthy. Raised in the Kitchen, I wanted to flag the review from Publishers Weekly, quote, sure to inspire a new generation of cooks, unquote. 
This is a how-to cookbook to help adults encourage kids to cook, starting with the basics like a fried egg and working up to kids' favorite recipes. You may know author Jason F. Wright from Christmas Jars, which was his New York Times bestselling title and has sold more than half a million copies, and it's a bit of a cultural phenomenon because of its message about the bonds of community. Even the Dog Knows is new fiction which follows the breakup of a marriage as it runs parallel to the younger love story of the couple's grandson and his lost love. The book shows that every stage of a relationship has ups and downs and often requires heartbreaking forgiveness. The title comes from the couple's dog, whose point of view is sprinkled throughout the story. He doesn't exactly have a plan to help his humans, but he knows they need each other and is driven by love and loyalty to them. His observations are empathetic, insightful, and humorous. Also from Jason F. Wright is Until You Find Strength. The subtitle is A Message of Comfort for When Your Grief Feels Too Heavy. This is a gift book, kind of like an extended sympathy card. The message is essentially inviting the grieving person to reach out at any time as they adjust to the new normal. An Advent Carol's Countdown is subtitled Stories Behind the Most Beloved Music of Christmas. It's the first Christmas Advent book that features the lyrics and historical background of 24 carols, and at the end of each chapter, there's a QR code to take readers to a video or audio of the carol sung by the Tabernacle Choir. The range of carols is from the warmly nostalgic, like Joy to the World, to the majestically solemn, like Angels We Have Heard on High. And the historical background includes interesting context, like O Little Town of Bethlehem was written by an American preacher after traveling there in 1868 to find peace after the horrors of the Civil War and assassination of President Lincoln. Come to Him This Holy Night is subtitled Three Irish Christmas Traditions. And this is the tie-in book to the PBS special, which will air in December, of the Tabernacle Choir's holiday performance. And finally, proper romance. These heroines are not damsels in distress awaiting rescue. They are women who have had the rug pulled out from under them. Some have emotional upheaval, some have physical challenges like alopecia, others marry men who have issues not well understood in their day, like autism and paralysis. Their journey is first the search for self-acceptance and then the search for true and unconditional love. Our most popular titles are Proper Romance Victorian and debuting in Spring of 22 is the first title in Proper Romance Edwardian era, where we leave the corseted world of Queen Victoria as we enter the 20th century and exciting inventions like the petrol motor car, which gave women a taste of freedom, which would have scandalized their mothers. Our Proper Romance titles are clean content so they're suitable for all ages. These are not bonnet romances. There's no inspirational content at all. There's all the longing, passion, and desire you'd want in romance, but there's no onstage sex. Ebook review copies are available on Edelweiss and NetGalley, and on Edelweiss you will always find more available backlist titles than NetGalley. Our titles are also sold as ebooks on all popular platforms. Thank you, and feel free to reach out to me directly on any product information at ilevine at shadowmountain.com.